Okay, so we break down that table into more detailed information here. So what are we looking at here? What do these two tables tell us for direct material, let's say? So the upper one, panel B, gives us the flexible budget information. Bottom table here is the actual, actual transaction, actual cost and quantity that happened. So the blue highlighted area here, direct materials, the standard quantity, meaning we expect to spend on producing the products, we expect to spend 10,000 square feet on the certain types of materials and the standard unit cost is $2 for each square feet. So overall, our flexible budget for 10,000 DVDs outputs, we expect to have direct material cost $20,000, right? Times that with the square feet gives us the direct material cost. But what did we see in the bottom here? We had 12,000 square feet spent, which is not the same as what we expected. Standard production cycle, we expect to spend only 10,000 square feet. Okay, so we have additional 2,000 square feet. What about cost? A square feet that we actually spend less, so we sign only $1.90 to the product. But overall, if we time these two, we still spent 22,800, meaning that overall the cost is more than what we expected right, for direct materials. Now if we take a look at labor, labor expected quantity, we expect employees to spend 4,000 hours in this entire season, and what do we got at the end? They were able to s actually produce 10,000 DVDs by only using 3,800 hours. Okay, so just by looking at this, not doing further analysis is actually more efficient. They only spent 38 hours, 3,800 hours to got the same level of outputs. But what about cost, meaning the price? So the standard price, each and every labor hour, we should be paying them $10.50. But at the end, what actually happened was that we paid them $11 instead. Okay, so we'll be looking into more details on you see that the quantity for the actual quantity and the budgeted quantity, actual price and the budgeted price, all four items for just material and labor cost are all different. So we want to know in exact why did these differences happen and which part belongs to which category. Okay, so right now we know 20,000 for direct materials bumped into 22,800. We have 2,800 difference. For labor costs, 42,000 was the plan, and at the end, we only spent 41,800. So we spend less on that, and we want to know which part belongs to price, which part belongs to quantity differences. Okay, overhead, we'll be going over this um, next class. It's a little bit more complicated.